okay, we've looked at how to pull it apart, take it out of the zip. We've looked at how you might access the information, Dreamweaver being my favorite way to do it, but there's a lot of ways you can do it. But we haven't really changed anything yet, have we? Now, again, I don't want to make this a course on CSS or on XHTML or anything else. And besides that, Infinite Skills has some excellent courses if you want to get deeper into the code. But we need to do something. So in this lesson and the next one, I'm going to show you two things that are actually easier to do through the code, and they're not really that hard to do either. So let's do this. Let's open up our folder, the Phoenix Project. Now, I already have this one extracted. But let's not do that yet. I'm going to double click on EPUB and open it up in a reader. It depends on which one you have, but if you've got Adobe Digital Editions, that's fine. Now you can see over here, we have kind of a modified small table of contents that we created. TOC, I suppose, represents the cover over there. TOC 1 would be, well, Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. So I really don't like the name TOC. That should say maybe cover page. TOC 1 and 2 maybe should say Chapter 1, Chapter 2. So I want to change those. Now we can do that in InDesign, but you might ask yourself the question, where did that come from in the first place? This is one of the cases where I think it's easier to do it here. So let's get out of here. We don't like that. We know what we don't like. We want to change it. I already have Phoenix 2 EPUB uncompressed. So I'm going to open it up. I'm going to go into the OE BPS and I'm going to open up TOC. Use Text Wrangler, Dreamweaver, whatever you want. If you look down here, these are the navigational points. Those are the contextual clickable links. Play order is one and two and three. Now, what does that mean? Does it mean the order they appear in the actual TOC? Well, it's part of it. But the other part's a lot more important here. It's when you swipe with your finger to change to the next page, that's the play order they go in. You can change that, but there'd be no reason to do that. This is what I want to change. TOC. TOC1 and TOC2. So let's do this. Let's double click on TOC and change that to cover page. TOC1, chapter 1. And down here, chapter 2. You can make it as simple or as complicated as you want. All we're doing is changing the name. Now you can see down here, it's showing it where it's going. Those are the content when you click, that's the page it's going to open. If you swipe with your finger, it uses the play order. I like that. Let's go ahead and save it. Close it out. Let's come back over here. Now remember, I have to put this back together. So let's change the name of this document here to say, oh, I don't know, Phoenix 3. Makes sense, I guess. Now in my case, remember, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to drag that same document on that same app right here, and it'll put it back together. On Windows, zip it, change the name to EPUB. If we open it up, there you go. So one of the reasons you might want to play Surgeon here and like open the patient up would be to very easily change things like the names associated with the table of contents.